Screw this. The alternator ended up going out a couple, about a month ago, and we replaced it. But for those of you who need to know, there's how the boat goes on good oil level. Speed limits friggin' suck. Alrighty, how's it going motorized the bike enthusiast welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to have a time lapse on adding some stuff to the electrical system as well as we're going for a ride right afterwards stick around we'll get to it right after this
Alrighty, it's been a couple of days. Got everything wired in, lit up, and it works perfectly. Now it's all going to be about fine tuning, getting these brackets flipped around so they don't stick out as far, and taking some epoxy and or silicone RTB and closing these up so they're waterproof. It's one of those summer days where I just really want to fly the drone. Unfortunately, it's kind of windy. Uh, so the clouds are going in and out. Uh, kind of dark here, kind of sunny there. But the clouds is what makes me really want to fly the drone. Kind of can't. Anyway, the basic way that we wired this all up was we've got this mounting point down here. Attached to the engine. And all that is is the common ground. So you can wire a ground to it and then put whatever you want to on that. Whatever system you want to. We also upgraded the light. As y'all know, the last one broke off the mount. Actually twice, once off camera. So this thing has just a driver, LED driver inside with one of those yellow square LED lights that you would find inside like a coast flashlight. So really all there is to it is a lens that makes it seem like it's much brighter than it really is. The lens is for soon how it work. It does it well and it's like a half a pound, probably a quarter of a pound. It doesn't weigh anything. And I know I shouldn't be measuring it in pounds, but dang it, grams suck. <laughs> anyway, let's give this thing a start.
Alrighty, we are back from our ride. Couple of things to note. You will hear on that first little bit of stretch of road. It's not really going all that fast. It's not chugging along like it was in the second part. And the reason behind that is actually something you wouldn't even really expect or suspect. Uh, the reason for that is elevation change. Um, remember, we've tuned this bike in that shed over there. So it's tuned for this elevation. Go down the street and you drop. You drop a good like 500 feet, 600 feet. So yeah, performance goes downhill when you drop that much and you're not tuned for it yet. Now this engine has never ever been closer to heat seizing on us from just pure overheating. Um, now there's a very distinct sound engine noise and you'll hear it, you'll know it when you hear it. The engine kind of softens up, it leans out and you'll hear a lot of valve noise. Uh, engine's gonna be a lot noisier. None of that stuff you ever really want to hear happens. And uh, now the reason for that's the air fuel mixture is at the point where it's just overly hot. So nothing's combusting right and you're just heating up the engine. Now thankfully we backed off the throttle. It didn't do too much. These are forced air cooled engines which means there's a fan inside and it's you know cooling it off. Overall it's just you know keeping it cool is going to be hard in the summer heat. The electrical system did all right. It's also extremely hot there are some pieces like this converter here that are just super hot um so batteries gotta charge up but overall we're good i need to check the oil make sure there's no like debris or how bad it is but yeah four stroke engines they're good anyway thank you guys for watching this is gonna be it i'm saying goodbye see you on the next video bye for now Peace.